Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our week ahead readings. Thank you for joining me. As always, remember these are general. Be sure to watch all your signs. These are also timeless, so whenever you feel drawn to watch the video, that's when you should watch it because it holds a message for you. And it will be for the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Timestamps will be below. I'm using the Legacy of the Divine Tarot and the Alice in Wonderland Oracle. Please make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and thank you if you have. I really, really appreciate it. Um, this week I'm using all Sarah Marchetti decks. Um, I thought I had like five, but I actually think I have like seven or eight <laughs> of his decks because I really uh, enjoy his style. Uh, okay, what do we got? Ace of Coins, Ten of Coins. Ooh. Well, air signs, whatever you're doing, there's a new opportunity that can be very, very... Uh, like happily ever after energy for you. Let's see. Did I say everything? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm running specials, uh, Valentine's Day specials. So they'll be running for the entire month of February and you can use the uh, time to look at love questions, but also any other kind of question that you're dealing with. I've left them open, not just love. And the information is below if you're interested. All right, so let's begin with Gemini. Hey Gemini, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. And if you're skipping ahead, definitely watch the intro as well because there's some valuable information for you there. Okay, what's going on for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in the week ahead. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in the week ahead. Current situation, the Five of Swords. Yikes. The Challenge, the Four of Cups. Mm-hmm. And in the outcome, the Ten of Swords. I mean, this is a clash. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Cups. The Five of Pentacles, sorry. I wouldn't be surprised if the Five of Cups came out as well. The Sun under the Five of Pentacles. Um, this has something to do with someone not being recognized properly. And I feel like you're taking a stand. You are refusing to compromise. And... It's either you give me what I'm worth, you treat me the way I deserve to be treated, or I'm out. The challenge with the Four of Cups is that you're dealing with someone who is just as stubborn, but they're also very manipulative, and they think this is a game. And you keep waiting for them to treat you properly, you keep waiting for them to make you the offer you've been waiting for, or deserve, or were promised. Um, but with the Ten of Swords in the outcome, I don't think it's coming in, and I think that you will be forced to end the situation, okay? Because for you, you're taking a stand on what's right for this other person. They're seeing this as ego games, and they just, they're, they're not going to do a thing because they think it's a game. And they're like, I'm not going to say I'm sorry. They need to come to me. That kind of stupid... <laughs> Pardon my French, well, pardon my French, excuse my own opinion, I mean, um, mind games. They're just not necessary, right? You're just asking what you deserve. You're just asking for something to be put right, for you to be treated the way you deserve to be treated, for you to get in return what you're putting into this situation, whether it's a romantic one, it's something to do with work, family dynamic, I don't know. And you're dealing with a sad... I'm, re I'm really finding myself having to think uh, to find synonyms for the words I want to say because the words I want to say are not really nice. <laughs> I can't find any synonyms, so I'm just not going to say anything. Um, yeah, with a sad person who to them is like, oh, it's all manipulation. Oh, Gemini is not going to get the better of me. I'm not going to be the one to say sorry first, even though they're the one in the wrong, right? This is someone who they mess up and then they give you the silent treatment so that you feel like you have to make it up to them. But they're the one that messed up in the beginning. Do you know what I mean? From the first place. I mean, ugh. good news is this is, I feel like this is tipping point. This has reached its limit, which is why you're so firm in your stand. And... If it does lead to this Ten of Swords end ending, um, 
I wouldn't be sad to see this person leave your life, okay? It will hurt as you're going through it, but then when you're looking back, you'll see this was the best thing that could happen to you because this person is very hurtful, they're very manipulative, you can't trust them, you can't rely on them, there's no future here, you know what I mean? So let's get more clarity here for Gemini in the week ahead. Five of Swords, Six of Swords, yeah. Four of Cups with the Seven of Coins, yeah. Ten of Swords in the outcome, we have the Three of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I mean, what is wrong with this person? The Page of Wands under the Sun and the Six of Pentacles under that. So it's about something that is very unfair. You're being taken for granted, you're being taken for a ride, you're being um, treated unfairly, you put into the situation, you get nothing out of it, you um, are not getting what you deserve, however that makes sense. You've tried talking to this person, you've talked and talked and talked, you've tried. They have reached, they have pushed you to the point where you have reached your limit. You reached your limit. I can't keep doing this. You have taken a stand and walked away. Or you've taken a stand and kind of given this person an ultimatum and then stepped back because it's then, then their decision, what they do. They can either make things right or you're not going back. That's your stand. The challenge like I say, this person, they're kind of cocky. They're like, Gemini's not going to go. They've invested a lot into this. They're not just going to cut that and go. You see how she kind of looks a little cocky in the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Coins? Like, Gemini's invested all this. They, they ain't going anywhere. We've done this before. We've been through this ro rodeo before. This is on again, off again energy, by the way. If I play this, the, the, given the silent treatment, play the game, Gemini will be back, Gemini will be back, Gemini is always back, Gemini always comes back, because what usually happens, this happens, then there's a breakup, you walk away, then they give you a little while to cool down, they come back all lovey-dovey, or they come back or all, 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 like nothing happened, you know what I mean, let's do this, let's do that, all fun, all sociable, all loving, and then you go back into the cycle. However, this time around, I feel like, you know what? No, I mean it. Because when they do come back, if they do try to come back like nothing happened, with the Knight of Swords there, you're going to give them a piece of your mind. And trust me, this time they'll hear you. And they'll finally figure out that you mean it. What's after that? Ten of Cups. Hmm. What else? The Knight of Wands. I mean, for some of you, you might take them back with that Ten of Cups. For some of you, you might get this person to grow up and do what's right. Because you do have that Ten of Cups there. And the Knight of Swords talking about getting back together uh, and reaching that, that, that happily ever after point with this person. It's possible which is why I feel you've been so patient and you've tried to make it work for so long. But just know, it has to get to this point first, where you're at your limit, you've had it, you don't care one way or the other anymore. It's either you're treated properly or you're not gonna deal with this person no matter how much you've put into this, no matter how many years, no matter how much time, no matter how much money. When you finally get to that point where you mean it for yourself and they come back and you can tell them as much, only then it could spark the process of, of this person actually growing up. But obviously that's not going to happen in, in one week. This is just making you aware 
that this is probably what the, the only way you could get this person to grow up and it's not going to be for everybody okay this is someone who doesn't want to grow up this is someone who is kind of is in it when it's all about the the fun and the parties and the living in the moment but then when it's time to get serious they they just don't want to do it they just bolt they give you the silent treatment they make they play the victim because they know you're not going to go anywhere you know what i mean and it might be yeah that's what it is when it's all fun and games they're lovely and they're there and they're loving when it's okay let's talk about the future let's talk about what we want from this let's talk about uh, our individual expectations because it's not just about what you want I have some things that I want to talk about as well let's talk about family let's talk about kids let's talk about where we're gonna live let's talk about you know what I mean they just withdraw they play the victim because they know if they give you a little time you'll cool off you'll forget about it so if you want to see this person meet you on your level and be serious and actually settle down in their energy and stop their partying ways or their superficial kind of ways grow up it might be that you have to get to that point where you don't care either way anymore they either do it or they don't you don't care because when they see that attitude in you they see you mean it they see it's not a game that's what could spark them to to be like okay seriously i need to get my stuff together because gemini means that it's not a game the risk is that by that time it might already be too late however i do see a lot of feelings here a lot of emotion which is why we see that reconciliation eventually and finally getting back on track and uh, being on the same page for it for a change For those of you where uh, this is not a romantic situation, I'm seeing this this the same energy, but maybe different outcomes, where you're gonna have to take a stand and not budge, or threaten to leave, um, in order to get a company, a boss, whoever this is, to give you what they promise, to give you what you deserve, to give you that raise, that promotion, allow you to hire more people, whatever this is. And it might be a case of you actually putting in your papers before they actually come back and be like, okay, Gemini means it, we can't let Gemini go, this is going to fall apart, alright Gemini, what do you want? And then coming on the same page. Oracle energy and advice for Gemini. So, you know, some, some kind of, well, it's very tense but I feel like it's what's necessary. Follow the white rabbit. Curiosity meets opportunity, number three. So, this is telling you to keep your options open with whatever situation you're dealing with. This is telling you to keep your options open, um, to entertain the possibilities, because I feel like this situation that you've been trying to make work is kind of tricky and while we can see that for some of you that outcome that you want is possible it'll take a lot out of you to get there to the point where you might not even want it but also by keeping an open mind and keeping your options open it might also give this other person or this other party the nudge because they're seeing you look at other options. They're seeing you keeping your options open. They're seeing you looking for a way out or looking for alternatives for yourself. And that might also be something that once they figure out that it's not a, a game on your part, once they figure out that you're not trying to manipulate them by doing that, that you genuinely mean it, they might be like, okay, seriously, let's talk. 
painting the roses red, covering up errors, 27. This is someone who, like I say, like I say, they're like, they never own up to their mistakes. They never own up to their side of things when, when things are not going well. It's always you. They always play the victim. It's always what was me. They shut down when you try to talk to them about it. Give you the silent treatment. They always have an explanation for everything you do, and it's usually not their fault. It's probably yours, according to them. And you've had enough of that. You've had enough of that. It's like, seriously, grow up and own your ish, and let's do something about it. Messages for a rabbit, service to the animal world. Number 15 adds up to a 6. There's a lot of communication here with the rabbit. Again, you're dealing with someone who's very flighty, is what I'm getting. They're, I hear precious, they're very precious, right? So, very sensitive, too sensitive, you can't talk to them because they bolt, you can't talk to them because they shut down, you can't talk to them because then they'll pout, very moody, or, you know, you can never get them to, to sit down and actually listen to you because they're always busy, they're always on the go, they're always doing something, they're, all, they're you know, they're this social butterfly or they're this busy bee. But I feel like it's time that you do something about it. You've been trying to talk to them, it's not getting you anywhere. It's time for some action and again, showing them that you mean it, it's not a game. They either grow up or they need to leave you alone so that you can find someone who will treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Or they either own up to whatever this, this is that they've offered you, promised you, and deliver, or they need to let you go so that you find a place that will treat you the way you deserve to be treated. So kind of tense but necessary and like I say there is a chance of turning this around and finally getting what you want out of this person or out of this situation but like I say you need to release attachment to that outcome you need to come to a place within yourself where you, you genuinely don't care if you get what you deserve out of this person or if you have to go someplace else to get what you deserve that then and only then will this person understand that it's not a game, it's not a ploy, you genuinely mean it, and they're genuinely losing you, that for some of you will trigger them to grow up or to own up to their stuff and do what needs to be done to treat you properly, all right? So you tell me what, this is, what that is for you, and I hope the reading helps you. Because for others of you, you just might have to just completely let this go. And maybe come back to it later or let it go all together. It'll be different for everyone. Okay, moving on to Libra, 1833. What's going on for Libra in the week ahead? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in the week ahead. Libra. The situation, we have the Emperor, the Challenge, we have the Four of Cups, another four. And the outcome, we have the King of Swords. A little uh, bit of a similar situation here. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, but for you, Libra, I'm seeing this as severing ties with something or someone. Aries energy in the situation. This could be a, a boss, a manager, a father figure, an authority figure in your life. Or, you know, whoever this is in your life, doesn't matter. This is someone who can be very stubborn, um, a little bit controlling. And you feel stuck in the situation. Because you have two fours. And the Four of Cups is the challenge. This is something that you've tried to come at from different angles, in different ways. You've tried to make this person work with you. You've tried to get this person to listen to what you have to say, to take you seriously. You're waiting for them to deliver. You're waiting for them to give you that job, that, that promotion, that raise. You're waiting for them to give you that commitment. Or you're waiting for them to treat you the way you deserve to be treated, to give you the respect. 
In the outcome, however, we have the King of Swords. This is your energy. I feel like you, in a way, you've put this person up on a pedestal, right? You're waiting for them to come down from that high horse and offer you what you've been waiting for. And you're put, you've put yourself, they're on a throne, you're kneeling in front of them. Okay, please do this. I'm waiting for this. I'm hoping you do that. I'm hoping you grant me this. I, you know what I mean? Now, in the outcome, this is where you get up and you say, you know what? What I've asked for is not unfair, is not unreasonable. And the way you, you treat me is unfair and unreasonable. And I'm actually going to be done with this Ace of Swords. We have the Empress under the Ace of Swords. Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. This has been a very heavy burden for you. And it could be something going on in a romantic relationship. Because we have the Emperor and the Empress. This could be a married couple. This could be you with your parents. They always treat you like you're a kid. No matter how old you are, they don't respect you. And you're cutting ties. You're cutting ties. You're you're saying never mind, no thank you, I don't want this anymore, or this is a breakup, or this is a divorce, or this is just withdrawing your energy and walking away. It's almost like you're waiting for someone to realize your worth and do the right thing for you or by you. And the, the downside is that you're dealing with someone who's extremely stubborn, very controlling, uh, stubborn to a fault. Because they see what they're doing to you. But it's almost like they can't move past their own ego to apologize, to own up that they've done something wrong. Or to then just make amends and do what's, what's right. They see that as cowering. They see that as backing down. They see that as giving in. Because they're in their ego. They know they're doing wrong. They, they know. But it's almost like they just can't move past their ego. If I am who I am. I'm never wrong. If I did anything wrong, it's because of you. It's your fault. It's that kind of person. And it's almost like, you know, you've been very patient with them. You've, you've tried to show, no, show them a different way. And it's just not working. And I think this is the point where you've had enough, Libra. Okay, let's clarify for Libra. The Emperor with the Page of Cups. There's also an energy of you, you have tried, like I say, you've tried to reason with this person. You have tried to show them compassion. You have tried to show them patience. You have tried to please them, to give them, offer them, to be who they thought, who you thought they wanted you to be, or who they told you they wanted you to be. You've, you've genuinely, you've been open, you've been vulnerable. With the Four of Cups is the challenge. We have the Queen of Cups. So Water Sign Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's a lot of feelings here for this person, but I feel like they're taking advantage. They're taking advantage. There's no other way to put this. This could also be a case of you've been waiting for someone to grow up. You've been waiting for someone to... Um, reciprocate you're all open and vulnerable over here and they're just closed off and stubborn and they kind of look down on you they see your openness and vulnerability as a weakness almost that they're exploiting that works for them king of swords in the outcome with the seven of cups yeah and the Queen of Coins. No more waiting. No more illusion. No more words are not enough. Words are not enough at this point. You're thinking about the long term. You're you're you you're, you've gotten to a point where you just need to be realistic and you just need to be practical when it comes to the situation. You're putting emotion aside because it's just getting you in trouble and getting you stuck. And you're going into this practical mode. And what's right 
I don't care how I feel about this. I care about what's right. Okay, I don't care that I might be tempted to continue to be patient with you, to continue to put up with this because of the love I have here, or because of our connection, or because we're family, or because whatever, the emotional connection anyway. I'm putting that aside completely, and I'm looking at it completely rational, practical. Is this fair? Is this what I deserve? No. We're done. That's it. End of story. I don't care who you are. I don't care what relationship we have. I don't care how much time we have together. I don't care. Do you know what I mean? And that's what's going on because you've been stuck. Four of Cups, Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups. You've given this person time. You've given them more than ample time to figure things out, to see a different way. You've shown them a different way. You've shown them several different ways of being, of doing things, of approaching things. And you're not trying to change them. You're just trying to either soften them a little bit or teach them about compromise or teach them about how we how to communicate openly and honestly, to teach them how to be vulnerable. At least with you, they don't have to go out into the world and do this. But it's about your interaction, your connection, your relationship. And it's just not working. It's just not working. And it's their choice. They know what they're doing. It's their choice. They're choosing to hold on to their ego. Their status. They, they're choosing to stay closed-minded. And I am seeing a scenario of a child... Well, I say a child, but you're like in your 20s, in your 30s, maybe even in your 40s. And your parent or your parents, they just can't move past the pa move past the fact or the, the outdated view or belief. You're my child. You have to do what I say. You're my child. I get the last word here because I'm the parent. That might work when the child is actually a child, but it's a case of this is someone who can't recognize that you're now an adult and they should treat you and respect you as your own individual person with your own choices and your own decisions that you're more than entitled to. This could even be a case of if someone just not letting you live your life because they keep guilting you, you know, we're your family, you have to look out, out for us, we're your family, you have to do what we say. We're your family, we should be the most important thing in your life. I don't care you have a wife and child, you know what I mean? It's that kind of energy. And I, th I think you finally had enough because you've tried, Libra, you've tried. And you're not getting through to this person. So you're finally putting emotion aside and looking at it practically and rationally from a place of, is this fair? And is this what I deserve? And do I want this to be the rest of my life? Bottom of the deck, becoming braver. That's exactly what this is. Resilience, experience, growing stronger, fresh perspective, number five. You are getting up. You're no longer on your knees in front of this person. You're no longer vulnerable. You're no longer trying to reason with them, trying to teach them, show them, whatever. You're no longer seeing them as worthy of you as deserving to have you in their lives you're no longer uh, waiting for them to it's almost like you're giving up on the idea that they can change you you're you're kind of figuring out that they're never gonna change no matter what you do and you being vulnerable in front of them to them is a sign that you're giving in is a sign that they're right they in no means see that as oh they're being honest and vulnerable let me do the same okay it, all of this isn't necessary let me meet them in the middle. They're not seeing that. And that is now pushing you to become braver, to stand on your own two feet, to come into your own power and to show this person your power. To show them the cold side of you, the detached side of you. Investigate, look closely, ask questions, think before acting. Number seven, you've been in this place of waiting, of trying, You've tried different ways of communicating. You've, you have tried different approaches. You have tried different attitudes. 
and then you've waited to see if it pays off. You've waited to see if you have results. And it's just been one dead end after the other. Yeah, do not drink poison, number eight. Do not do things you know are bad for you. You've tried, you've tried, you've tried. You've come to the point where this is just a toxic thing in your life, whoever this person is. You're recognizing that, and you're making a change. That's just the bottom line. That is just the bottom line. And good for you, Libra. You're doing the right thing. You genuinely are. There's no way around it. There's no way you're you're exaggerating. There's no way you're... And you know that. You're no longer doubting yourself. You're you're out of your feelings. You're out of your emotions. You're putting that completely aside. And like, I don't care what kind of relationship we have here. Is this fair? Is this what I deserve? Is this what I want in my life in the long run? And then you're cutting what needs to be cut. And good for you. Okay, so tell me what this is for you. And if you are dealing with these energies, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. I hope the reading helps you, if, even if it's just to give you the confirmation that you're doing the right thing. All right. Alrighty then. Okay, moving on to Aquarius. Hey Aquarius, thank you for joining us. So let's see what the week ahead has in store for you. As always, keep in mind and be sure to watch all your signs. And if you're skipping ahead, definitely watch the intro. There's information for you there. What's going on for Aquarius in the week ahead? Aquarius, summarizing Venus signs in the week ahead. Okay. Sorry if that's loud, guys. The situation is the Eight of Coins. The challenge is the Ace of Cups. The outcome is the world. So I'm seeing comeback and reconciliation on the table for some of you. And for others, this is a very unexpected offer. Either something you gave up on, well, what'd they say? Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Unexpected offer, something you gave up on, something you walked away from, something you released as, you know what, it's never going to happen. It's just a dream of mine. It was just a childish dream. It was just me fooling myself because for a while with the eight of pentacles you've been focused on work focused on yourself focused on your career focused on practical matters and you've been quite happily doing that don't get me wrong bear with okay harvey has joined us um which is why the Ace of Cups shows up as your challenge. It's a genuine offer. Could be, you know, someone offering love, someone offering you a dream job, someone offering you, again, something that was once a dream of yours. You Once you really wished for this. But because it wasn't happening, you kind of had to tell yourself, you know, maybe it was just a dream, maybe I was just naive. And you kind of let it go, and here it is something where there was unfinished business it's coming back around with the world card or oh it's the wheel of fortune it's not the world coming back around <laughs> okay there was unfinished business it's coming back around same message uh with the world card that i was seeing it could be that you know there has been a lot of time that passed or there has been a lot of physical distance you've physically walked away from this person, this place, this situation, someone's traveling to come back to you, or someone's traveling to make this offer to you. And again, there's this unexpected turn of events where you have the opportunity to take something all the way to complete this cycle uh, or to start, start something completely different. If you did take this offer, it would create a massive change in your life with the wheel, uh, wheel of Fortune there. A positive turn of events, but it would be a big change. This could even be, for those of you, this is a pregnancy that happens out of the blue. And it's a massive turn of events in your life. And it's a new cycle in your life. Or it could be a proposal that is happening it's showing up as a challenge because I think you're not the one initiating it. So it's kind of taking you off guard. 
uh, taking you by surprise, ca by surprise, catching you off guard. Um, and if you were to accept it, it would be a very big change in your life. That's not necessarily a bad thing. And for those of you, um, this is where the house sale or purchase is finally happening. And you get to move. So let's get more clarity here for Aquarius. Eight of coins. Three of wands. Ace of cups. Ten of coins. Yeah. Proposals galore. The wheel of fortune. We have the knight of swords. With the two wands. Yeah, there's your choice. Under the six of cups, we have the magician. A new beginning that you've manifested because this is something that you never quite let go of it was always in the back of your mind it was a, uh, always in your energy you may have continued to have dreams about this person the situation this potential this outcome so even though Harvey hold on there's a slap fight coming Harvey be good mama okay um, you had to physically walk away from it with the three of wands, but it was always in your energy. It's something that you truly wished for. And so subconsciously, you continue to manifest it. And you know what it feels like? It feels like something coming back around because now it's ready. Something wasn't ready before. Someone wasn't ready. Something wasn't ready. Things weren't ready. Things weren't right. Now they are. And you're given a second chance at this because now it can be done properly. And this will be fast. This will be out of the blue completely unexpected but it's literally if you took if you take the the offer it will be life-changing so what you were working towards your plan what you set in motion for yourself okay. I'll be back um, that's kind of go gonna go out the window <laughs> It's not, again, it's not a bad thing. It's just letting you know that's what's going to happen. Right? Nothing will be the same. Everything will, everything will change. You'll change where you live. You'll change what you do for a living. You'll change your status because now you're going to be in a committed relationship or now you're going to be a mother or a father. Something you've never done before. Where now you're going to be a business owner. Belong to your own dream, number 32. Create your own life. Like I say, this is something you've had dreams of. It was, or it's been a lifelong dream. And it's, you, this is like slumber. It's almost like whatever this is needed more time. Whatever this is, when you tried it last time, it didn't work because it wasn't ready. It needed more time to develop. Whether it's the person wasn't ready, you weren't ready. Whatever this is, it just wasn't ready. And now it's coming back because it's ready and you can have the full potential of whatever the situation is. Growing up, I'm telling you, wanting to grow in experience, rejection of perpetual youth, number 17. This is coming back around, number eight energy, infinity symbol, I'm saying. Because someone has grown up, because things have grown up, things have matured, because now things are ready including yourself bottom of the deck choices absolutely feeling blocked and restrained number six here again this is something you've had you felt like you had to release you felt like you had to walk away from you felt like i was just being silly i was just being naive but the truth is whatever this is it wasn't ready it needed more time you walked away you turned your back you let it go and now it's coming back because now it's ready. Now it can grow. Now it can develop. Now it can give you the full potential. King of Wands energy. Nine of Wands. Yeah. And the Eight of Wands. Out of the blue. Yeah. Judgment. Unexpected. Come back around. Second chance. Resurrect. Fast. Unexpected. Because neither of you really let it go with the Nine of Wands. It may have been physically that you walked away from it, let it go, but it was always in your dreams, on your mind, in your energy. I always see a seven here. It's actually his belt and his scepter. <laughs> but I always see a number seven. So the number seven might be significant for you. It's been seven months. It's been seven years. It's been 17 years for some of you. 
but now it can be worked on because both of you want to work on or both parties everyone's ready to work on it everyone's ready to put in the work here again with the knight of coins the page of coins now you can make it a reality whatever this is so it's pretty awesome it's pretty awesome you're gonna have to tell me what this is for you but if you are dealing with these energies I hope the reading helps you because you do have a choice to make with the two of wands and like I say if you cho choose to give this another shot or to try this again even if it's not with the same person but it's the same dream you had it's coming to you at a different in a different way at a different angle whatever this is okay it will be life-changing it will be but like I say it's 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 been a dream of yours for so long and things will line up in, in just the right way you'll see that if you take a step back and you see the bigger picture if you see things from per, from a different perspective you'll see how things have lined up in just just the right way for you to be able to be presented with this opportunity again right so I'm not telling you what to do I'm just saying this is really meant for you and there's a reason why you haven't been able to release it why it's always been in your energy why you've always continue to have dream to have dreams about it literally so tell me what you're gonna do either way it looks amazing all right so i will leave that with you have a great week and i'll see you in the next one bye for now